green building. The aim of this project is to plan and design a multi-efficient residential green building at a site in Mahindra Hills, Hyderabad. The objectives for this project are listed below. To design a residentially viable green building including maximum open spaces with cost-effective design and materials. Improve indoor air quality by orientation natural ventilation design using eco-friendly and regionally available construction materials. Implementing solar panels for energy generation and reducing power consumption for building. Using solar heaters for water. Implementing rainwater harvesting with water treatment plant within the building premises. Methodology. While scouting for an ideal location, it is important to consider certain factors such as availability of sufficient sunlight, easy access of local resources, cost of labor. Also, the soil of the site should be of bearing capacity. Choosing the right material for construction. Certain materials have definitive advantages over traditional constructional materials when it comes to being environmentally efficient. That is precisely the reason why recycled materials are used in whatever instance possible. Products that require less energy to grow, extract, and manufacture are implemented. Materials that are durable like fly ash bricks can be considered as a viable replacement for the traditional bricks. Using SketchUp Pro 2020 and V-Ray for the 3D modeling of the green building. A floor plan followed by the 3D modeling is done with accordance to the site dimensions and abiding by the internationally accepted standards. The final output is rendered using the V-Ray software. Understanding green building. So what exactly is a green building? Green buildings are environmentally sustainable building, designed, constructed and operated to minimize the environmental impacts. They preserve precious natural resources and improve our quality of life. These are some of the benefits and savings of green building. Materials and technology utilized in the construction of green buildings. Passive solar design technology. Passive solar design technology refers to the use of the sun's energy for the heating and cooling of living spaces. In this approach, the building itself takes advantage of natural energy characteristics materials and air created by exposure to the sun. Solar water heating. It is the conversion of sunlight into heat for water heating using a solar thermal collector. They include storage tanks and solar collectors. No additional cost is required and has the capability to deliver hot water for most of the time in a year. Fly ash brick. Fly ash brick is a building material, specifically masonry units, containing class C or class F fly ash and water, compressed at 28 MPa and cured for 24 hours in a 66 degrees Celsius steam bath. The manufacturing method saves energy, reduces mercury pollution in the environment, and often costs 20% less than traditional clay brick manufacturing. High volume fly ash concrete is a concrete where a replacement of 50 to 60 percentage of cement is made with the usage of fly ash. Fly ash substitution to cement is a well-recognized approach to reduce CO2 emissions. Fly ash is generally an industrial waste obtained from burning coal. Building integrated photovoltaic. They are photovoltaic materials that are used to replace conventional building materials in parts of the building such as the roof, skylights, or facades. Photovoltaic panel converts solar power into useful electricity. They are clean and eco-friendly source of electricity. Low volatile organic compounds paints. They are ingredients in paint and other products that easily evaporate into the air at low temperatures. These chemicals can cause symptoms ranging from nasal irritation to the development of cancer. They are used in paint to help it stay in a liquid form until it dries. Low VOC paints reduce the exposure to potentially dangerous chemicals for those applying the product and those living and working in the space after it is painted. Rainwater Harvesting Rainwater Harvesting System, also called Rainwater Collection System or Rainwater Catchment System, is a technology that collects and stores rainwater for human use. Rainwater Harvesting Systems range from simple rain barrels to more elaborate structures with pumps tanks, and purification systems. This is a screenshot of an aerial view of the site that we have chosen for the construction of the green building. 
The specifics of site details are given in the next slide. Design requirements. According to the available built-up area of site, we have designed a two-storied building of 3BHK. Building is designed for higher middle-class group of people. Plan is designed according to green building principles. Planning principles adopted in design. Plan is oriented facing east for maximum utilization of natural light and ventilation. Comparatively larger opening of windows are provided. Ducts are provided for ventilation of interior parts of building and also cross ventilation is incorporated. On-site rainwater harvesting and ground water recharge facility is proposed in plan. Passive solar design has been accommodated in the design. The initial phase of construction can be initiated using the floor plan, which is laid out using SketchUp Pro 2020. The final floor plan is shown here. From the floor plan, the building is developed into the final form before rendering. All the necessary components that contribute in the eco-friendliness of the building, like rainwater harvesting technique, solar panels, solar reflective glass, are included in the 3D model. This is the 3D model of the proposed green building. Using V-Ray for the final rendering of the 3D model. Now, analysis is done based on the materials we have used for construction. Fly ash blocks. They are feasible because they are eco-friendly, easily available, and economical. There is a significant reduction of load on structure as the blocks are hollow. Also, this provides insulation to walls. Here is the comparison of the cost of fly ash blocks with traditional blocks. High volume fly ash concrete. This is feasible because fly ash is cheap, easily available and best suited as a filler material in concrete. These are more economic when compared to ordinary concrete. Here is the comparison of the cost of fly ash concrete with other types of concrete. Low VOC paints. These paints are comparatively more expensive than ordinary paints but they are still preferable because of their reasonable advantages. It reduces ozone depletion and improves indoor air quality. Here is the comparison of the cost of low VOC paints with other types of paints. Solar reflective glass. These glass are feasible because they control the infrared rays of sun and keeps indoor environment cooler than outside. They are more expensive than ordinary glass, but still economical if the expenses of electricity of air conditioning are also considered. Here is the comparison of the cost of ordinary glass with solar reflective glass. Here we calculate the cost of installation of a solar photovoltaic module. Here are some of the international as well as regional certification councils for green buildings. LEED Certification LEED is an internationally recognized green building certification system, providing third-party verification that a building or community was designed and built using strategies aimed at improving performance across all the metrics that matter most. Energy savings, water efficiency, CO2 emissions reduction, improved indoor environmental quality, and stewardship of resources and sensitivity to their impacts. The following table represents the criteria and points awarded for each category as per the LEED rating system. Based on the points scored as per the LEED rating system, the building will be certified accordingly. Here's the conclusion. The aim of the project was to understand, plan and design green building. That has been achieved by studying different green technologies for buildings, by planning and designing building layout, development of plan, elevation, sections, etc. Various green technologies and materials proposed with their feasibility study and cost comparison. The structure of the building is designed using SketchUp Pro 2020 and then rendered with the help of V-Ray following the analysis of each material used in construction of this building. We can conclude that the construction can prove to be slightly more expensive, but it is worth the money invested as its efficiency can prove to be priceless in the long run. Green building helps in reducing the cost of living and drastically improves the quality of living.
That's the end of this presentation. Hope you enjoyed it. And for more such videos, do make sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, make sure you like, share, and comment on this video. Thank you. Take care.